Hello, welcome back. In our last video, we learned about the eStore application and then how to build a database for eStore using fast normal form. And let's just continue to explore more about data normalization. And in this video, we are going to discuss about something more interesting. So this is the overall picture that we draw last time that we are going to uh, sell different categories of products like uh, hardware, software, books, DVDs, and then uh, under each uh, category we will different products like laptop, monitors, uh, and so on. And now let's say like this laptop is being manufactured or supplied by different vendors like Dell, like HP or Lenovo. Okay, so basically the goal here is to build a a data structure so that we can store the supplier information as well as the product information. Okay, so to do that, so let's basically here's the first attempt that we try to do. So we create a table called product, and in this table, we are going to store the product name and the supplier's information. So, so the first column is going to uh, store the product name, and then to which categories belongs to will store by category ID, and then how much it cost. And up to this point, we are storing about the product information. And then from here onwards, we are storing the supplier information, like what is the name of the supplier, the, their local contact address, contact telephone number, and so on. Okay, so if I populate data, the data is going to look like this. So we have this product name is called Dell Laptop 1, and then this cost here, and then this is up to here, we have the product information and from here with the supplier information where the supplier uh, you know name address and all this thing so what you're seeing here is that if we look at you know closely at uh, these four rows here so these four rows are essentially repeating so all this whatever the address of Dell Corporation Dell 1 Dell way around Rock Texas and all these zip codes they're repeating four times so essentially if I take if you just take a close look at this one of this row so something is going to look like this and this is essentially 56 character of length okay so if you just count them it's going to come to 56 and then we have four rows like that so that means we have 56 into 4 that means we have 216 characters that we have been storing here out of which there is 54 characters are original and remaining 156 characters are repeating in nature means we are not really storing in the most optimal way okay so if we store in optimal way we should not have 156 character which is about 75 percentage which are just repeating so let's do something like this whatever is repeating rows so we take them away and then call that a supplier table okay so our supplier table is consisting of supplier name address line city name state name and all this thing and I just store only here once okay just only one supplier one one unique supplier one address and we just only store only here only two rows right now Dell and HP and then what do we do we give a identification for this thing like you know this Dell one Dell way and all these things identified by an ID let's call that ID as sub ID okay the supplier ID one is for Dell two is for HP and then what we're going to do we are going to store our product we, we, we modify the product table so that in the product table we just keep information about the product category discount percentage and what you can do you want to add one more column here in that column we call it supplier ID and then so this Dell laptop was manufactured by a supplier called Dell so therefore I just give the ID supplier ID whatever is identified to, which identifies the Dell so that is one similarly from HP what I'm going to do I'm going to give it a two okay so this is how I'm going to store so look if I store this way so instead of repeating all 56 characters again and again what I'm going to do is just I just store only once that is a one-time storage of 56 and consequently I'm just adding just only one character what is one or what is what is the ID number for that so definitely this is how we save about 75 percentage of the storage because what we're going to do our goal uh, in when we're going to going to make our database structure our goal is to avoid redundancy and we indeed avoid redundancies okay so here the supplier is called the master table and the supplier ID is called the primary key because supplier ID in supplier table identifies uniquely the row which is the, the address for the Dell and here in the product table what we have in the supplier ID is a reference key which is referring to this supplier table okay so this is how we are going to 
basically design the supplier and product table so basically what I'm saying is this is a this is not a good design it's a bad design because we are repeating because we need more storage here and one more thing that uh, that I, I will tell you like you know one, one advantage here is that say tomorrow Dell corporation changes his contact number so, so this telephone number is no more valid we have a new telephone number and let's say, say let's say that new telephone number is one eight 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 seven 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 one 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 okay so in that case what are you going to do if we if we store data in this new format like supplier and product we just update here if it's update this one row then automatically whoever is referring to this thing is reflected but however if you store in the old way then you have to update telephone number here telephone number here telephone number here so what about if you forget the telephone num to update telephone number in this row so in that case you have bad data so that is called data anomalies okay so essentially what we did we learned this trick to avoid data anomalies and to to avoid data redundancies so essentially this is what we learn is called second normal form and here is a here is actual definition of second normal form in the second normal form what we have done here is that remove the subsets of data that applies to multiply multiple rows so essentially what we did here so these are the subset of data that applies to multiple rows so we separate it we separate it to another table called supplier table okay and then the second thing what you do we create a relationship between the product table and supplier table and that relationship is the primary key and foreign key relationship so here in the supplier table the supplier ID is the primary key and supplier ID in the product table is the foreign key so this is exactly what is called second normal form